I turn back the darkness without losing myself to it? If I go against everything I stand for, will it be enough? Or am I already too late? The Spider-Man stories that involve the symbiote always seem to be some of the best narratives that the character has to offer. And by the looks of things, Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is shaping up to be no exception. But regardless, welcome back true believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans to another very exciting Marvel Spider-Man 2 related video. Now the most intriguing thing about today's discussion is that we're not only going to be diving into the multitude of possibilities that might end up occurring within the narrative of Marvel Spider-Man 2, but we're also going going to be analyzing exactly how this could drastically impact the overall future of Insomniac Spider-Man universe overall. And like we've already seen bits of so far within the gameplay reveal as well as the recent story trailer, the overarching future of Insomniac Spider-Man franchise all depends on what exactly ends up happening with the symbiote as well as the main villain's inclusion of Venom. So if you're beyond excited like me to see Insomniac's take on the iconic black suit Spider-Man storyline within this game's narrative, then Definitely be sure to flip that like button and subscribe to the channel for any future Marvel Spider-Man 2 content. So like we're all fully well aware of at this point is that the symbiote is going to be one of, if not the biggest highlights of the entirety of Marvel Spider-Man 2's story. Which given everything that we have seen so far in the gameplay demo and the story trailer, as well as what's been discussed from the developers over at Insomniac Games themselves, is that the moment that the symbiote is actually introduced within Marvel Spider-Man 2, the story is going to be taking a very dark turn, primarily for the case of Peter Parker himself. Whereas Yuri Lowenthal has already previously discussed about Black Suit Spider-Man, is that the symbiote is going to make Peter feel a strong sense of addiction, considering that the overabundant amount of power that the symbiote holds is truly going to get to Peter's head, where, as we can expect, is not only going to send Peter down an extremely dark path, but it is going to significantly impact the connections that he does have with his closest confidants. However, However, it seems like that's going to be in the most negative way possible. In fact, listen to Yuri himself during the San Diego Comic-Con Hall H panel, where he goes on to discuss exactly what type of influence the symbiote will have on Peter's overall livelihood, and primarily what that means for those he cares about the most. Yeah, I mean, he is, he is definitely, you know, taken with that power, um, and very little responsibility, actually, uh, you know, as it, uh, as, as it goes, but... Um, it's, it's, a, it's a back and forth for him. It's, it's a lot of power for him to deal with, and on one hand, it's, uh, you know, it's great. And uh, on the other hand, it's, uh, it's hard, because, you know, people get hurt. Yeah, and can you speak to how it affects the people in his life, the relationships in his life, like with Miles and MJ? Yeah, well, you know, when something come, becomes more important to you than the people in your life, relationships uh, break, you know, mm -hmm. they, they, they falter, and... Um, if the, the strength of that thing is so powerful that you can't, you don't, you don't just, you know, yell at somebody and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I was having a bad day, um, then, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it, it takes a lot more to come back. So yeah, well, uh, it, it gets complicated for, for Pete and the people around him. Oh yeah. So as Yuri pretty much said there, is that not only is the symbiote essentially going to drastically impact Peter's personality as a whole, but it may end up causing completely irreversible and unforgivable actions that Black Suit Spider-Man may undergo under the influence of the symbiote. Which, if worse comes to worse, he may end up physically harming or severely traumatizing those closest to him and the ones that he loves the most. And of course, we've already seen a horrifying glimpse of this in the story trailer where Black Suit Spider-Man is chasing down MJ. And it may end up happening again in the heavily speculated boss fight that might occur between Black Suit Spider-Man and Miles Morales, where depending on how exactly those encounters end, the relationships that Peter has built with both MJ and Miles might be lost forever. This could easily range from both Peter and MJ permanently breaking up with one another, as well as Miles no longer wanting to be spider partners with Peter, which would certainly make for an extremely sour ending for 
for the story of Marvel's Spider-Man 2, but at the same time, it would fall in line with some of the previous statements that we have received from the Vice President and Executive Creative Director of Marvel Games himself, of Bill Roseman. Where if you recall in an interview all the way back in 2021, shortly after the reveal trailer was released for Marvel's Spider-Man 2, is that Bill Roseman pretty much compared Marvel's Spider-Man 2 to Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. And I would say, if the first Spider-Man game was Star Wars, Spider-Man 2 is kind of our empire. Ooh. Ooh. It's a little darker. Impressive. <laughs> most impressive. Now, not only is The Empire Strikes Back my personal favorite Star Wars movie ever made, and I'm sure a lot of yours as well, not only for being bigger, better, and darker in every way in comparison to A New Hope, but it also ends on an incredibly drastic cliffhanger, one that leaves the audience pretty much speechless. And what's more is that not only was Marvel's Spider-Man 2 compared to The Empire Strikes Back, but the same exact thing was said by the producers of Phil Lord and Chris Miller, who obviously recently released the incredible incredibly well-received Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Which, major spoilers for that film ahead, but that movie also ended on an insane cliffhanger. A cliffhanger that's not going to be resolved until the release of Beyond the Spider-Verse. And all of that is to say that I believe the same exact situation is going to happen here by the ending of Marvel's Spider-Man 2's story. There is a very likely chance that the symbiote and mainly Venom himself are going to cause so much damage to the lives of Peter and Miles that it may not even be able to take an entire game of Marvel Spider-Man 2 to tell this symbiote-fueled story. And if this game does end up having a cliffhanger ending, there is a very likely chance that the symbiote story could continue all the way into Marvel Spider-Man 3, which would not only be an immensely ballsy move coming from Insomniac, but it would also have the potential to end up being one of the most treasured black suit Spider-Man stories to ever be told. And as a die-hard symbiote Spider-Man and Venom fan myself, I for one couldn't be happier if this ends up being the case. And to once again reference the cliffhanger ending from Across the Spider-Verse, is that unlike most Marvel properties, is that that film did not have a post credit scene, and instead, it merely ended on the cliffhanger alone. Now, I mention this because the same situation could also happen here for Marvel Spider-Man 2, or on the flip side, we could receive the exact opposite, and instead of receiving a post credit scene for Marvel Spider-Man 3, we could merely receive a post credit scene for the next Insomniac Marvel game, which we'll be releasing in the future, of course relating to Marvel's Wolverine, which by all accounts seems to be connected in the same universe as Marvel's Spider-Man. But as for whether or not the story of Marvel's Spider-Man 2 will end up connecting to Marvel's Wolverine is still unknown as of right now. But regardless, Insomniac has the opportunity to make one of the most definitive black suit Spider-Man stories that we have ever seen. And given everything that we have seen and heard of about the symbiotes including within Marvel Spider-Man 2 so far, it certainly seems like that this is going to be a Spider-Man story for the ages. But until that time comes, everybody, that's the video I have for all you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. How big of an impact do you think the symbiote will leave within the story of Marvel Spider-Man 2? And out of everyone that Peter is closest to, like that of MJ, Miles, or even Harry, whose relationship do you think is going to be affected the most negatively from Black Suit Peter? Let me know your think, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy and for more Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos like this in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, stay spectacular Spidey fans, and until next time, peace out.